Thanks for visiting the channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And click the bell icon to be notified of future videos. Hey folks, for this installment of the Leo and Dan show, we are looking at the Harley Benton HB DC 580CH. That's pretty good because I'm reading all that upside down. Uh, and it is a uh, Gibson SG copy, essentially. And uh, so uh, and it's not taped all the hell and gone, so that's good. Uh, let's see what we get. Well, we get some bubble wrap. Gonna practice my guitar disrobing some more. <laughs> this one's not gonna go as well as the other one. It may just be louder. No, it's that the bubble wrap had had already been squeezed into the cutaways on the on the body, so you're gonna have to dislodge them one way or the other. There you go. So we've got a cord, and I'm sure there are a couple of Allen wrenches in here somewhere. I'm, I'm taking their their word for it that there's Allen wrenches in there. Uh, well, I don't see where they would be used. It's got a trudomatic bridge. Okay, uh, well, but does it doesn't have a truss rod? Okay. That, it probably does, yeah. So, got to be, got to be one in there. Anyway, it's not like we don't have enough Allen wrenches. No, no. <laughs> we certainly have uh, Allen wrenches from Helen Gone. And if anybody is really, really enjoys those desiccant packs, we have lots and lots of desiccant packs. Seems like they're putting more and more of them in there. Probably laced with fentanyl. Okay, and so okay, this is Dan's opportunity to curse because I'm going to fast forward through him pulling these. <laughs> Parts to rust while the uh, guitar is getting to you. I can understand that. Yeah, you have to pay extra for that. So, Leo says this guitar was $122, but with uh, Harley Benton, if you. Uh, <clears throat> the freight is the same for two guitars as for one guitar, and the, the minimum freight is $79. Eighty dollars, call it. So, uh, if you get two guitars, the freight for each guitar is around forty bucks. If you get one guitar, the freight is eighty bucks. So, uh, these guitars are so inexpensive; it's really a much better deal to get two of them. Um, two different guitars, of yes. course. You wouldn't want two of the same guitar. No, yeah, well, Harley Benton has plenty of variety to choose from. So. Uh, one hundred and twenty-two dollars. Said right. Mm -hmm. so, so around one hundred and sixty-five bucks, somewhere in that neighborhood. Um, and uh, it's the kind of the traditional SG uh, red color. Um, although I think Leo said that this is a trans red. Or... Yeah. Could you hold that up for the camera? It. 
doesn't seem to be all that transparent. It is transparent, but I, you know, I have an Epiphone SG. Well, you can see a little bit of grain down here. Yeah, I can, I can see it, but on my Epiphone SG, it's much more uh, apparent than it is on that particular guitar. And, you know, if you recall, we did the uh, Harley Benton DC Custom, which was a little more expensive SG copy yeah. uh, a couple of years ago. Uh, it was during the COVID uh, lockdown, and you, you did it at your trailer. Yep. But uh, anyhow, this is a... Uh, so, uh, basswood body, uh, set-in neck, um, 24 frets, uh, supposedly a maple neck, although it's all painted, so... You can't, you can't really see what wood it is. And this, I, I finally got an explanation of what the hell Rose Acer is. It's not Rose Acre, it's Rose Acer. And it is essentially a, a thermally treated maple. So uh, that's how you get the dark color. Um, and uh, there's, a, there's a lot of that going on. And, uh, from what I can tell, all the reviews I've read from other people, um, it can it can make some very very good uh, uh, stand up products that that will last you a long time because that thermal treatment kind of compresses the grain of the wood so it gets harder uh, just as a part of the process. Uh, it's got uh, no name tuners. I don't see any defects in the in the uh, finish. Uh, I'm sure there's plastic on this. I don't want to take that off. But, uh, and it uh, looks like it's uh, three ply for the uh, for the pick guard. Two tones, two volumes, and uh, they are actually marked volume, volume, tone, tone. For $122, <clears throat> I know y'all are going to get sick of me saying this, you know, but I mean, the first guitar, credible guitar I ever bought was in uh, probably 1968 or 69 from a hop shop. It was a Guild Starfire, and that cost me, I think, 150 60 bucks. Um, a Guild Starfire today would cost you probably 10 times that uh, and it was just as well made as the, any of the ones made today maybe better um, until uh, my strap broke one night and uh, broke the headstock off but I did have it repaired that, that guitar went through hell with me uh, stolen twice got it back twice broke the headstock off uh, the second time it was stolen it took me almost a year until a friend of mine called me and told me that some guy had brought, brought it into a local music store who shall remain nameless you thieving bastards. Uh, 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 they, they paid $75 for my guitar and uh, called the cops. The cops showed up the same day, the same afternoon. They denied that they had it. They had chiseled off the uh, serial number on the back of the headstock and on the inside and made me pay $150 for my own guitar. You thieving bastards. So uh, anyway, that's, that's a mere aside. It has nothing to do with this guitar. Uh, we're going to stop now. We're going to tune this guitar up. We're going to check the pickup sounds. And uh, we'll be back in a second. Thanks. Hey, folks. Dan Ryan. Today we are looking at this Harley Benton HB DC 580CH, which is, a, as you can see, an uh, a SD copy. And... Uh, in a very attractive uh, trans red and uh, we've tuned it up and now we're just going to take it through the, the uh, pickup sounds and uh, so uh, without further ado <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you. 
coming out of the, of the uh, neck pickup, uh, even with the tone wide open. You know, if you want a jazzier sound, you can get, get a lot darker than this. How's the neck dive on it? Uh, the neck is very nice. Uh, uh, action is pretty much right where I like it, not too high, not too low. Um, what I'm talking about is, does the headstock feel like it wants to fall because of the weight of the of the guitar? Yep, it's got plenty of neck dive. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. It's an SG thing. Um, just uh, be careful about your strap, that's all I can say. <laughs> uh, Apparently it was a Guild Starfire thing a long time ago. That's what happened. Um, broke off one half, and, and uh, these were all still visible. It's just the wood around them was gone. Um, all right, so there you have it. It's the HB DC 580CH, and uh, we're going to stop one more time now. Make sure we're still in tune. And we'll play something for you. Be right back. Hey, folks. Uh, today we are looking at this Harley Benton. Uh, Leo took the box away, so I don't have all the, all the numbers. But uh, HB DC 580CH. HB DC 580CH. Uh, copy of a Gibson SG. Pretty faithful copy. And uh, we've gone through the appearance. We've gone through the pickup sounds. And so now we're going to play a track for you. And this time it's another elevated jam track, floating funk groove backing track in G. So uh, let's uh, float our funk here. Hold on a minute. <laughs> hey, how you doing? I'm doing. You can just put it there. Uh, put it over, over there next to Dan. Thank you, sir. Yep. All right. Later. See you later. Thanks, Patrick. No that was Patrick. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Bye, Patrick. You're on. You're off. Okay. Okay. Uh, Leo wanted to do a comparison between this one and that one with the same track. So 
we're going to play a little on this one. Probably won't go as long as we normally would since we're going to switch over to that one. Uh, so uh, it, again, it's the Elevated Jam Plep Track Floating Funk Groove Backing Track in G. So here we go. <laughs> sounds versus the other on the exact same track and the same settings etc can you hold those both up for me please uh, I'm gonna try to get a thumbnail out of this and uh, yeah you can definitely tell that there's more wood grain on the uh, epiphone than there is on the uh, Harley Benton but uh, still both excellent looking guitars Okay, we'll be back. Okay, so uh, you heard the Harley Benton, and uh, this is the Epiphone. Some minor uh, differences. Uh, this has more Grover-style tuners, as you can see. Uh, this has the Clusum-style tuners, closer to what you would actually get on the, on the Gibson SD. And uh, the plug-in is on the top on this. It's on the side on this. Uh, other than that, pretty pretty close. So and he, also uh, has the bat wing uh, pick guard on the on the epiphone. Oh yeah. Um, so same track, the floating front funk groove backing track in G from Elevated Jam Tracks, and here we go.
that's the Epiphone. Uh, I gotta say, uh, here in the room, the pickups on the Epiphone are uh, quite a bit brighter than the ones on the Harley Benton. And uh, the action on the Epiphone was uh, slightly better to play. Um, but this one cost what? $122. $122, and this one cost? $700. $700. Okay. Well, uh, you could certainly get along with this and save yourself uh, $578 if you want to. Um, you know, maybe just because I'm an old and I'm a purist, uh, uh, you know, to me, this is the better guitar. Uh, uh, first of all, this design has been around for you know, 70 years, something like that. Pretty much bulletproof by now. So, uh, um, and Epiphone is as close as you're going to get to Gibson for a, a number of years there. I think Epiphone was actually better than Gibson. <laughs> they were using Gibson's uh, designs, but they were actually executing them better and charging a whole lot less money. But uh, that's just me. Anyway, that's the uh, Harley Benton um, SC5, whatever, 580... DC 580CH. DC 580CH. And this is the uh, Epiphone SG. I believe it's the uh, 60s. So, um, vintage. So, uh, anyway, I'm Dan Ryan. Leo Ryan's been behind the camera. We hope that you will like and subscribe and click the bell icon to be reminded of our future videos. And uh, that's it for today. We'll see you next time. Thanks.